In this video, we'll be talking about barbiturates versus benzodiazepines. So barbiturates and benzodiazepines both are kind of like sedative agents which have a calming effect on the brain. And they are used as sedatives, hypnotics or anticonvulsants. Now, both these drugs work at a synaptic level. So they modulate synaptic transmission by modulating the GABA A-type receptor. But the way they modulate GABA A-type receptor and the overall ion channel is different. And that is the difference in terms of their mechanism of action that we have to understand in this video. But important to note that both act on the GABA A-type receptor. So what are GABAergic synapses? GABAergic synapses are inhibitory synapses in the brain. So GABA has different type of like receptors. So GABA is the neurotransmitter shown here in red and it binds to GABA receptors and most of the common cases the GABA receptors are ionotropic uh, receptors which are basically membrane bound ion channels and upon binding to GABA it lead to chloride influx into the cells. So overall barbiturate and benzodiazepine enhance the inhibitory effect of GABAergic signaling. Now this is the GABA receptor and here in orange you can see this is the benzodiazepine binding site and this is the barbiturate binding site. Already one can understand both these drugs point to a location other than GABA binding site and their site of action is also different. The way the, the pockets that they bind to are quite different. Now what is the difference in terms of the channel kinetics? Now generally Whenever these drugs bind, there would be chloride influx, which is augmented. How chloride influx could be augmented? So either the channel opening duration could be increased. That happens in terms of barbiturates. In case of benzodiazepine, the frequency of opening increases. That means the channel opens more frequently, allowing more chloride ion to come in. It is important to note that frequency is the key part in case of benzodiazepine mediated action. Whereas in case of barbiturate, duration is the key thing to understand. Like the channel opens and close for less number of times, but once it is open, it stays open for longer, allowing more and more chloride ion to get in. But anyway, both the cases, the result of chloride influx inside the cell is basically making the inside more negative. So if the inside is more negative, it would be hard for any downstream neuron to fire an action potential. Thereby, it would decrease the overall neuronal activity. This is how benzodiazepines and the barbiturates work. Now let's talk about the clinical usage of barbiturates. Obviously, as, the, as you can see from the mechanism, this could be used as a potent sedative agents. Phenobarbital were historically used for sedation before the benzodiazepines were uh, discovered. Anyway, they could be also an anesthetic agent. So thiopental is basically a short acting barbiturate that can be used for anesthesia. Anticonvulsant effects are pretty prominent. Phenobarbital is still used as an anticonvulsant agent, but though barbiturate were used anciently, they have several side effects. Obviously, they lead to CNS depression, drowsiness, sedation, respiratory depression, etc. And this drug could be fatal in case of overdose. It creates a dependence and tolerance. So it's kind of like very addictive. The way they work is very similar to alcohol. So obviously it creates a addiction towards these drugs and the drug can interact with many other drugs which might lead to the fun alter the functionality of these other drugs. Anyway, benzodiazepines are more safer version and easy to go option these days. Again, it can be used for sedation, especially used for the treatment of anxiety, panic disorder, uh, spasticity, status epilepsy tickers etc. Now other usage include night terrors, sleepwalking, general it can also be used as general anesthetic and hypnotic. But there are also some adverse effect of benzodiazepine is there. Like it's lesser than the barbiturates but it could also create dependence 
and it can have that addi addi uh, basically addictive effect so basically benzodiazepine has less risk of respiratory depression which was quite more in case of the barbiturates and that is why benzodiazepine is more appropriate choice for the clinician these days. So I hope this video helped you to understand the difference between benzodiazepine and barbiturates. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, support our channel using super thanks. See you in the next video.